Daniel Barden Mudfest, which is coming up here at the end of the month on April the 29th at the MKJ Farm in uh, Deansboro. And Dan, good morning. Thanks for coming in. Morning, Bill. Uh, five years? Yeah, it's hard to believe this is our fifth year I doing know. this. Uh, I believe uh, your first inaugural year that you did it, we had you in studio. Absolutely. And we've had you each year from there on forward, and it's been five years, man. It, I, it, I even had more hair back then. Well, yeah, and mine wasn't as gray. So, yeah. <laughs> Well, these events will do it to you. But this is a great event. First of all, uh, talk about how you were inspired to start this, and, and who is Daniel Barden? So Daniel Barden was one of the 21st graders that was killed in Newtown, along with the six administrators, five years ago. And my niece happened to be in the school that day. She was just about five rooms down from yeah. where that tragedy happened. They were best friends. And uh, we went down the next day and then went on to the funeral. Yeah. And I was just so shaken by the thing and so in despair. Uh, at the funeral, mm -hmm. we were uh, just abject despair. And yeah. The last speaker gave a eulogy and just said, if you can do something to make this world a better place, then do it. And I walked out of the church and I said to my wife, we're going to put a mud run on for these folks. I had only met them a handful yeah. of times, but their boy was special. He was the kind of kid at seven who would hold the door for yeah, you. Yeah. Uh, and uh, so, you know, we started that January and within four months we put together an event, have, having never organized anything. Yeah, and I remember raised, this whole story. We raised you, a bunch uh, of money that yeah. first year and we had about uh, 1,100 runners. And uh, looking back at it now, it's like, wow. We got it done, but our obstacles are so much bigger now, and we're, our signage is better. Yeah. And we've been able to really uh, grow and improve you know, throughout the... Now, when you say your obstacles are bigger, uh, you don't mean that in order to get this thing done, there's so many obstacles in red tape out there. You mean your obstacles are bigger. Yeah, the obstacles. So we've yeah. got... <laughs> as part of the run. As part of the run. So yeah. they, we have a half-mile kids run that's got 10 to 12 obstacles, and then we have a 5K adult run, and then we have a five-mile... We call it an elite run, but mm -hmm. anybody can get <clears> their way through it. So there's basically just shy of 20 obstacles on the 5K. There's going to be 26 obstacles on the five-mile this year. And uh, then we've got music sprinkled along the course. We built a stage at the two-mile mark on top of the monkey bars, and we're going nice. to have Gary Robertson Jr. up there. So That's cool. It's great. I mean, I'll tell you, it's one of my favorite views. It's like a 40-mile view over the Mohawk Valley yeah. looking into the yeah. Adirondacks. That's awesome. And, yeah, and then you come down, and our finish line obstacle is uh, – we lock disposal gives us 420 yard dumpsters. So we sandwich those together and then we built this cabin structure around it. It's a giant log cabin. Yeah. It's 30 feet high to the peak. And uh, so we call that Paul Bunyan's cabin. We fill that full of uh, pond water. And uh, so you have to kind of go up a ladder and then shimmy along a slippery wow. log or you fall in. That's really cool. And then uh, we've got an army truck with a. Uh, bands and uh k-rock and OUR are going to be there this year all right so everybody's kind of like partying around that got it uh and then this year for our fire sculpture i've got every year i like burning stuff mm -hmm. it's just <laughs> i don't know a kid a boy a man that doesn't it's a like, male i believe it's a male thing it's a male yeah, thing so the, yeah. and um <clears throat> so i've hauled in these huge four foot diameter maple logs that we're going to stand up on end and put them right together and they actually carve bard and mudfest into the logs really cool so as the day goes on, as the event goes on, the letters will actually come in. And we've been practicing this for a while, and I've got it down. We'll burn one in the backyard and carve like a smiley face in. Nate. Yeah, it'll be, it'll be awesome. All right, so how do people get in, by the way? And, of course, all the proceeds benefit the various charities. How do people get in? Yeah, so quick thing on the charities. Can I talk mm -hmm. about the charities sure. a little bit? Okay, yep. I'm super proud of this. Uh, we've been working with the Clark Foundation. This will be our third year. The last two years, we've sent 16 kids on a 78-mile canoe trip through the Adirondack Park. And what we do is we get uh, eight kids from Connecticut right around where the tragedy happened. We look for kids that we want to pull out of their yeah. shell. Mm -hmm. And then eight kids from around here, and uh, we send them on this trip. And so we pay for that. That costs about 16 grand. And then whatever we have remaining, we ask these kids to research and pick charities that speak to them. Nice. We vet about 40 local charities and so we're making sure the money goes to good places. But these kids are, it's amazing to get them involved in it and thinking about being charitable at a young age. I think that is, uh, that's important, right? Yeah, that's for sure. It's built into us around here, I'll tell you that. Well, we've got a very, uh, you know, as I told the folks from Connecticut, mm -hmm. I said, you're going to come up here and see, this isn't the richest area in the world, but in terms of 
people and what they give. It's amazing. That's incredible. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I have people putting on a chicken barbecue, giving me $1,000 yeah. that, wow. you know, don't, they, they have no means to do it, but they do it. Well, no kid should go through what those kids went through. That's and, just the, uh, that's the fact. Well, in yeah. the parents. And I mm-hmm. think that, uh, you know, through this, we can get kids outside, mm-hmm. disconnected from video screens and just enjoy not getting, easy to do. Enjoy yeah. getting muddy. Yep. All right, uh, Daniel Williams, uh, we appreciate it. It's the Daniel Barden Mud Fest, and it's happening at the end of the month on April 29th at MKJ Farm in Deansboro. It's bardenmudfest.org. Yes, bardenmudfest.org. Cool. Right. Thanks so much. Got Thanks, a break. Bill.